Hi guys, yes, I am back for day three of our McDonald's menu hacks. If you were wondering if this is silly, should she even be doing this, you're probably correct. Honestly, it's an excuse for me to eat McDonald's. I got a taste for it with the uh, land, air, and sea, and I, I wanna see it through. So we're gonna do all four. Um, today we are trying the surf and turf, and then tomorrow we'll take a little break because I will be going live with Jeremy Rubio to do the Skullville Slammer. So check that out tomorrow. That'll be February 3rd at 5 p.m. Pacific. Friday, I shall try the Crunchy Double. We're gonna save the best for last. I think that's gonna be delicious. But yes, today we have the Surf and Turf, so let's get into it. So the surf and turf is probably, mm, I don't know that I'd say it's the least interesting. Probably the hash brown McMuffin is the least interesting. This is the second least interesting hack they have. So what it is, is the double cheeseburger, not the McDouble, because I looked into this. The McDouble only has one slice of cheese from what I can see. So you want the double cheeseburger, which has two slices of cheese. That's what it looks like. So you've got your pickles, onions, ketchup, and cheese, and two little patties, same as the uh, same as the Big Mac. And then the fish I think you put in the middle, and we want half of the filet of fish bun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna take the bottom of the filet of fish sandwich and shove it in the middle of there. Just shove it right in. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I had like mm, four cups of coffee this morning. Feeling good. Ooh, yeah, they are really saucy with this. Lots of tartar. All right, we got our filet of fish and I did learn, somebody in the comments on my land, I always say it wrong, somebody in the comments on my land, sea, and air, land, air, and sea, yeah. Someone in the comments of the land, Aaron C. Burger did mention that the fish filet has always had half a slice of cheese, which I looked into and apparently they are correct. So that's some mandala effect crud there. And the McDouble, I think the McDouble only has half a slice of cheese too. Okay, so we're gonna, oh, I want that extra tartar out of the box though. Okay, so we got our bottom of our fish filet, our filet of fish. We got a tear this girl apart and i don't know why i talk that way about food i used to watch a youtuber that would do that sorry so val from trippy foods told me that he has tried this and he wishes that he had sriracha to overpower some of the strong fish flavor and we're gonna move our fish over a little bit it's stuck oh no let go oh, no let go of the cheese mm, should i take a picture of this it's kind of hideous, to be honest. It is not cool, as cool as our land, air, and sea sandwich. All right. So, that's it. What do you guys think? Would you eat this? You know I'm going to. All right. Going in. Dare I say, I think I might like it better than the Land Air and Sea Burger. I feel like the fish, the beef, and the pickles, and the ketchup just all come together. Or I'm just a garbage monster, which is also probably true. I really like this. This is my favorite thing so far. What's wrong with me? <laughs> okay. Well, 
before I knew how much I loved it, <clears throat> my plan was to put some of Heiko's hot sauce on there again today. So we've got Heiko's Madame, which I mentioned yesterday. I tried it on the Diablo Dare. There were too many flavors going on in that sandwich and it overpowered it. So we'll see. This is a little bit of a lighter flavor. We'll see if this pairs well. So if you haven't had this sauce, it's a uh, medium on his heat scale. I was just talking to Heiko about this earlier this morning. So the number one ingredient is chili peppers. It's the Madame Jeanette, which before I had this sauce, I didn't know of. It's a very delicious pepper. There's of course Vidalia onions, organic vir uh, virgin olive oil, garlic, apple cider vinegar, freshly squeezed lime juice, palm sugar, and cumin, which is one of my favorite spices. So this, as I learned yesterday, and I double checked also has no sodium. So if that's a concern for you, these are the sauces you want. And I will put a link in the description. Did I remember to do that yesterday? Mm, I might have to go back and do that. All right, got a nice dollop. I'm just gonna spread this around because this is much hotter than the sauce yesterday. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ugh. The Vidalia onion, the spice, the cumin, it all elevates everything. It's coming through. I already like this sandwich before. I'm in heaven. Or I could just be super hyped today and hungry. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. I highly recommend this. On that note, five out of five. Dare I say, the surf and turf slaps in my opinion. It is delicious. Highly recommend, go and get yourself one. I think this cost in total, because you have to buy both sandwiches. Ooh, the heat's building. It was about $7.20, so it's kind of expensive for one sandwich, but remember, you're actually buying two sandwiches. So it's a larger meal, you're getting more calories. If you count calories like I do, then you just eat less throughout the rest of the day. So it kind of evens out. <clears throat> yeah, that's it, that's my review. Also, Heiko's hot sauce, this madame, so good on this burger. The heat is still building. He also recommended that I try it on rice dishes. I think that would be excellent, even on just like a plain bowl of rice. Oh, that'd be so good definitely great with fish definitely so yeah if you guys want to stick around and continue to watch me eat you can but that is my review of the mcdonald's menu hack surf and turf this is making my day this is my tiny little lunch break during the day been in meetings all day blake went and picked this up for me so this is a nice treat <laughs> it's messy. Mm hmm. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I love it. Oh my goodness, grievous. <clears throat> well, that is all the sauce I need for like the rest of my sandwich. Okay, let's, let's distribute this. Ah! Well, I do, I do have that Scoville Slammer to do tomorrow, so gotta build that heat tolerance up. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, so again, <clears throat> that is already scheduled. You'll see on my channel, it's scheduled for tomorrow at 5. Again, that's with Jeremy Rubio. The Scoville Slammer is the newest League of Fire hot sauce chug challenge. You chug the whole bottle all at once. 
And then there's a four minute afterburn. I forget how many points you get for it, but it's pretty high. Hmm. And of course, it's inspired by the Johnny Scoville. It's got his face on it. Mm. Mm hmm. Something about it. Mm. Blake says I'm going to be dead by the end of the week eating all this McDonald's. I don't think so, but I definitely am developing a taste for it, which is a problem. All right, I have to get back to work. I hope you have an awesome day. I'm Katie Prettyman, the world's okayest competitive eater, and I'll be here all week. So see you tomorrow on that live stream. Bye.